Hey guys, let's get more news about Warriors, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Steph Curry, LeBron James fuel rumors with intriguing Instagram collab. NBA superstar Stephen Curry and LeBron James set Instagram on fire on Thursday, August 22, when they collaborated in a post with an intriguing caption. Same team winning team, Curry wrote in a photo of him with the Los Angeles Lakers superstar and his former Golden State Warriors teammate Kevin Durant clutching their Olympic gold medals. While the caption is factual as they all were on the same Team USA that won the gold medal in the 2024 Paris Olympics, it did not stop fans from speculating about a potential team-up between the two stars as they wind up their NBA careers after the Warriors tried to pursue James at the trade deadline. One more fan with the IG name Bigsis underscore said, Bro, one season we don't even care if y'all don't make the playoffs. Other fans were also asking why Durant, who has been more active on social media than Curry and James, has yet to accept the collaboration invitation. Before posting the collab photo, Curry updated his Instagram bio by removing the phrase guard for the Warriors and replacing it with Olympic gold medalist as noted by NBA Central. Curry and James played pivotal roles in Team USA's gold medal run in the Summer Games. James was named the tournament most valuable player for his consistency, averaging 14.2 points, 6.8 rebounds, 8.5 assists, and 1.3 steals. Curry was phenomenal in Team USA's last two victories, semifinals against Serbia and finals against host France hitting 17 of 26 three-pointers for a whopping 65.4% accuracy. Both NBA superstars were named to the Olympic All-Star 5 along with Serbia's Nikol Jokic, France's Viktor Wimbanyama, and Dennis Schroeder of Germany. ESPN's front office insider Bobby Marks pointed to 2026 as the year the Dream James Curry team-up could happen. LeBron James signed a two-year contract this past offseason, and with the two-year contract, there's a player option there, Marks said on NBA Today on August 13. He has a player option, he can become a free agent once again next offseason and pick the team that he would want to go to. That comes with leaving $50 million on the table to go to a team like Golden State and join Steph Curry. I think the big thing is to keep an eye on maybe the summer of 2026. Steph Curry has two years left on his contract and has the ability to sign an extension. He, Curry, could become a free agent, also. Certainly, LeBron next offseason or, potentially, in the summer of 26, when both could be free agents. The chemistry is there personally, but their games also align, Legler explained. If it happens, I think it has to be in Golden State. I think Steph Curry wants to be that guy that wears one uniform his entire career, but he would love to welcome in that kind of talent to give him a chance to stay competitive at this level. James would be 41 in 2026 and his son Bronny would be in his third year with the Lakers. Former Warriors G. Quinn Cook says Dubs withdrew offer after he accepted it. Former Golden State Warriors and Los Angeles Lakers guard Quinn Cook discussed his NBA career earlier this week on the Jeef Island podcast. Cook, who last played with the Taiwan Mustangs, opened up about leaving the Dubs following the 2018-19 season. According to him, he had agreed to accept a qualifying offer from Golden State to return to the team for another season when the front office rescinded the offer and prevented it from being finalized. I was a restricted free agent, they gave me a qualifying offer, but I had a good season, so my agent, he advised me let's wait and see if we get another offer, Cook recalled. My agent calls me like three times, he's like, yo, everything is kind of slow. I think we just sign the offer and just kill this s asterisk asterisk t. You gonna play, you know the ins and outs of the offense, Clay is not gonna be there. Thompson had torn his ACL during the 2019 NBA Finals. So, he sends the contract over. I don't think I've shared this story publicly yet, Cook continued. They send the offer over, I literally signed my qualifying offer for the Warriors, as I was doing it, they send me a withdrawal. I've got the screenshots and everything. 
everything is docu-signed. I literally completed it and got the withdrawal back from the Warriors. After a productive career at Duke, Cook had traveled throughout professional basketball before inking a two-way contract with Golden State prior to the 2017-18 season. Cook emerged as a solid secondary contributor, scoring nearly 10 points per game in 22.5 minutes per game during his appearances. While he lacked size and standout playmaking ability, Cook was an excellent shooter, making 44.2% of his threes. Cook's performance led the Warriors to promote him to their active roster, where he remained through the 2018-19 season. Cook remained an effective shooter off the bench, but his defensive limitations left head coach Steve Kerr hesitant to give him a larger role, even after Kevin Durant and Clay Thompson suffered serious injuries during the playoffs. The Warriors' decision to rescind their qualifying offer to Cook was perhaps motivated by a desire to bring in more veteran depth to complement young guards that had been added to the organization's depth, Jordan Poole, Jacob Evans, and Kai Bowman. The dubs ultimately brought in Glenn Robinson III and Alec Burks. However, their 2019-20 campaign would be doomed by an injury to Steph Curry. Cook, on the other hand, would join the Los Angeles Lakers en route to his second career NBA title. Lakers News, LeBron James and Stephen Curry make FIBA's Olympics All-Star 5. The 2024 Paris Olympics are in the books and Team USA came out victorious once again, winning their fifth consecutive gold medal. Two players that became vital in accomplishing this goal were Los Angeles Lakers star LeBron James and Stephen Curry. James was a steady force for the United States as he did a little bit of everything throughout this undefeated journey. At 39 years old, many did not expect him to assert himself to this degree as his 22nd season looms, but he went out and won MVP of the whole tournament. On the other hand, Curry came on strong in the final two games against Serbia and France. Particularly in the gold medal game, Curry drilled three crucial three-pointers to stop France's late push to make things interesting. With all those factors, both James and Curry ultimately earned spots in FIBA's All-Star 5, which features five of the tournament's best players. It is a tremendous honor to have American athletes on that list given how much talent the world possesses, via FIBA, the other three players are no-brainers as Nikola Jokic is the best player in the NBA and carried that over to playing for Serbia. Then San Antonio Spurs rookie Phnom Victor Wimbanyama exploded against Team USA with 26 points and 7 rebounds on 11-4-19 from the field. Lastly, former Lakers guard Dennis Schroeder has become a steady force for Germany in the past couple of years of FIBA play. All in all, it is great to see James and Curry get this honor, given that this Olympic run is probably their last. That's especially the case for Curry, who was starving for an opportunity to add a gold medal and got it in his first Olympics appearance. Each United States basketball team has a different dynamic and for this to feature aging stars getting it done one last time, it means something more. And you fan? What do you think of the situation of Stephen Curry? Leave your opinion in the comments.